Hi right, everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to be checking out something a little different than usual. This is going to be SCP Overlord by Evan Royalty. I was actually going to do a Max or a video today, then I realized we're fostering a dog. I am jacked up on all of the allergy meds right now. That plus Max or seemed like a really good way to get an aneurysm. I would like to avoid said aneurysm. So we're going to watch something that in hindsight is probably going to be just as horrible because I'm a coward and this is SCP and that's usually terrifying. Why am I doing this? Because I make bad decisions. That's why. You guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. I don't know what we're getting into here. I've only recently seen this channel, and I've actually had it recommended quite a lot just a bit ago. So, yeah, I don't know what we're getting into here. I know it says CP, so it'll be really fucked up, or... No, no, it's going to be really fucked up regardless. So we're going to jump right in and see just how bad it gets. I'm a masochist. I have to be. That That's the only, that's the only explanation I can think of, yeah. Let's get started. Pyramid... Ooh, Interspace Anomalies? Ooh, nice name. Very thematic. Retro Digital. Oh, I've seen they're doing a lot of things basically as short fan films. I did check out the channel slightly. <laughs> Dude, is that a little projector? Everything i tell you is classified under a level 3 security clearance and is on a need-to-know basis. I'm sorry, I know it's only the freaking SCP logo, but this is just... It's so freaking clean. I just, I, I haven't seen any other work before, but it was heavily recommended. Just seeing this right here, I'm getting giddy, man. Why am I getting giddy? I'm sorry. Just, I, I wasn't expecting to be happy just from this. I shouldn't be. I really shouldn't be. I know I'm supposed to be terrified soon. See? The man you're looking at is Ethan Pender, a figure within a new age religious movement known as the New Transcendentalists. His farm status has become a con- New Transcendental? How many circles were there? Three circles, but... Oh, wait, seven, okay. For some reason, I just... I don't know why I was going fifth this for a second there, but that's that can't be right. Dentalists. His farm stead has since become a commune for the primary thought leaders with around nine total members. <laughs> Thoughts this movement was suspected of organizing chemical attacks all across New England in the early 2010s. Oh. Additionally... Oh, they're flat-out terrorists. strange disappearances loosely associated with the movement. All suspected... Nothing confirmed. Disappearances in SCP, that's never a good thing. Missing persons across Franklin, so people disappearing, Hampton, especially. No clear offender, but given that this is happening in the Colts' backyard, he and his friends are suspects. Twelve hours ago, the Hampshire County Sheriff's Department received a call from a man they believed to be in danger. The caller refused to directly specify the threat until he handed this picture to the authorities. This sighting is presumed... Dude. It's such a low-key... Just what the hell am I looking at? Image is like, I just, it's live action SCP, man. They have like that grainy quality, creepy esque, almost copy pasta, creepy pasta, take your pick, which are usually the same thing, actually, now that I think about it. But just, I, I love this. It's just so fucked up. And the music in the background is just chilling. And I don't enjoy horror. Why do I like this so far? To be Sarah Morrison, one of nine missing persons associated Ooh. with the case. Oh, they identified her. Our agent within the department informed us the moment this picture was secured. Wait, agent in the department. A state of emergency requiring immediate action. Any non-foundation personnel. Wait, 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 go back a second. What was that? It came into contact. Yeah, yeah, wrong button. There was a very specific thing on there. Okay, night vision goggles, yeah. Emergency Where requiring was... Oh. Okay, this is going to be a silly question. Is that supposed to be Italy? Mexico? Italy or Mexico? I honestly don't know. Requiring immediate action. Any non-foundation personnel who came into contact or heard mention of this photo has since been detained and given amnestic treatment. However, the clock is still ticking. I know I shouldn't be getting giddy just hearing the words as like amnestics. It's just sorry. I'm so used to going into an exploring video or the exploring series videos and hearing all this stuff and just seeing this in live action at this level of quality. Like, I know the channel's been representing this as, you know, films, but this is a fucking amazing piece. I just, I thought this should be like some crappy fan animation that's just really well done, has a lot of spirit. I wasn't expecting, oh my God, this isn't just a fan animation. This is a movie using an open source license because SCP is very much open source to just go to town on the entire world and... <laughs> I, I'm getting a dopamine drip here from this way more than I expected. 
The Foundation has seen fit to sanction a raid on the Pender Commune. Interspace Anomalies presents... Your objective is to write the commune, it is. anomalous activity, and secure the property for a containment team. Any persons on site are to be detained or neutralized in accordance with the ROE. No anomalous activity is found. You will exfil an RTB. Epsilon 6 will be our primary entry and intercordant team, while our friends from New 7 will provide the outer cordon, short-range artillery and air support, including ISR, which comms will be bouncing off of. Ah, oh, dude. I'm not even a huge audiophile. But I love how between when she was speaking to when he is speaking, it goes from the really slow, more menacing music where you can't really tell what's going on. It's just like that monster in the background. It's more woodwind based, more string based, more orchestral. And then you get him in there and it's more action based. And you hear more of the percussion, and the reverb and it's just hitting harder. And they're showing a lot more quick cuts. They're a lot faster and you have a lot more movement of the guns and being strapped in. It's such a good little change just to go from one person to the next to change the entire tone because he's also speaking faster about what they're going to do as opposed to what she was talking about and what they have already observed and going the speed difference and the change of the tone and the change of how quick the cuts are. Just so many things are lining up perfectly. <sighs> Dude, again, I'm not the biggest movie guy and I'm even seeing this. This has to be amazing. Seven also fill our QRF alongside specialists from Zeta 9, Mu 13, Beta 7, and Lambda 5. As always, Those are all words. Gamma 5 will be running interference to make sure this all stays under the radar. <laughs> Any mission code ideas go on the whiteboard in the back. Any questions? Ooh, I like the take here from like the overhead drone shot of it. But more importantly, Are those? I, this is actually a weird take right now, but I cannot tell if this is a CG image or if it's a live action with heavy distortion because of how dark it is. And also because my settings... Oh wait, they auto set to 4K? I didn't realize my screen went to 4K. More you know. Huh. I think this might actually be live. So is this stock footage where they just had helicopters? Or did they actually just rent helicopters for this? I mean, on the one hand, either their budget's insane. Or on the other hand, they have someone who's really good at putting CGI in that I can't even tell. Granted, that actually might be helped by just how dark everything is. So you're only seeing the shadows. So maybe the shiny section of the CGI just never seems to get right sometime. Isn't there. It looks good, though. Oh, and I love this part. Dude. The night vision aspect. Just spreading out from there. They're all laying down? Oh, for the hell to take off. Even though, technically, I don't think they should be high enough for that to be an issue. Overboard. Dude, the music's swelling as the title sequence drops. You get the name drop. And, ooh, the cut on the percussion and... <laughs> yep they're doing the Massachusetts filter if you know what I'm talking about with the Mexico filter where everything seems sepia this is very much the Massachusetts filter except this one is actually how it looks like a hole he's going to drop something isn't he oh a glow stick oh I thought it'd be like a rock or something you uh you have any way to see the bottom? Klinsky, anything. <laughs> Shrugging works. Sector one one to Helios. We <gasps> passed down, bro. S one. No, oh, they have markings on the helmets. Just a hole here now. Uh, no way to determine the depth. Over. Roger that one one. Proceed to next objective. Over. We'll go Helios. One one out. I'm all right. Should have a good time with that. UGV should have picked this shit up way before we got here. Command's got some fucking nerve asking us to stick your nose in there. It comes with the territory. That's what we're here to do, and we're going to do it. Part of the job. Okay, this is interesting. So far, everything here has been super, uh, how to put it, on par with something of a much higher quality level than I had any expectation of. So the fact that the first thing they do after moving through that really fast-paced intro sequence was to do a hole 
And then it's like, they should have picked up on this, indicating that this hole wasn't supposed to be there. And also, it doesn't seem to be attached with what their actual objective is. So I'm thinking this is probably foreshadowing for something later on. Is it? I don't know. I don't know this guy's audio, or audio style. Art and audio style. I'm trying to combine two words. Why not? Yeah, I love this audio style. So maybe it's foreshadowing. Maybe it's not. Personally, I would usually hedge more on the it is. But it could be just something in there to show just how weird it is right off the bat. I can see it, you know. You're getting snatched up like out of a fucking movie. Yeah. I, I, I mean, mean, this is SCP. On, it's never like that. Hold out your hand. Tony you, Cicero, another day at the office. Yeah. About what? Any ideas on this shit? Maybe we're being invaded. Raji's learned to dig to America. Hey, Kalinsky, what's the scoop? Hmm? Command get back to you about it? What, the oh, what? Nothing yet. Well, you're smart, right? What's your take on it? I don't have one. We don't know enough. Any conclusion I would jump to would just be conjecture. Yeah, I kind of feel. If there's an answer, it's in that commune. Oh. Okay, so that's what it was. I wasn't entirely sure, and I was thinking he was maybe the doctor or the more sciencey aspect of the MTF team, maybe attached to it. Because some do, some don't. But the biggest thing is, this guy's, he has the equipment, and they've actually done a really great job of making that look really cool. But he's dressed as more like someone who's going to walk around, as opposed to everyone else who's in solid black everywhere. It's a small little difference where he just has more color in his clothing choices, but everyone else doesn't, so they're a little more uniform. And they're also asking him about things. They're asking to see if he knows things, which I'm assuming he might be a doctor or at least someone on the science teams who's just with them. So this is definitely pointing out that he's not a uh, normal MTF member or maybe he's just attached to it. Interesting way to just differentiate him slightly like based on the clothing choice. I'll figure it out. Always do. Yeah, let's hope. Also, the previous conversation about, about just a day at the office. What do you think? I think you've talked too much. Come on, sending some more rats over to have a look at it. Oh. Let's get back in formation. They're gonna... The fact that they're mentioning the mole rats to check out the hole, I just... It's so much of a reference. I love this. Watch your step, boys. Dude. I haven't heard a lot of SCPs with them in it lately, but they were in a lot of the early ones I listened to. But that's in the background. It's probably radio chatter. Not important, so they don't make it the main focus of the audio. Dude, this is so cool! I love the fog. I couldn't tell if it's natural or something they made just work in the shot itself. Because again, depending on where you're at, that's just normal how it looks. Not yet lost. Oh, I love that touch. That's definitely going to come up later when they see the gun somewhere else. And again, everyone, there were a few people. Yeah, see, his is very much, the red stands out more than everyone else. Private property, no trespassing. Is that supposed to be like a light on it? No, oh, that's weird. Not like SCP, we're just more, I didn't know that was a thing. Red and white. Sweden? I don't know what the flag is. What? Missing. If you have any information about Chad... Double D, really. Brown, call number. Dalton Police Department, Chad. Mitchell Brown. Missing from Dalton, Massachusetts. Caucasian. T-shirts, jeans, glasses, tennis shoes. Exiting Starbucks at... Dark. Oh, Gray Infinity. G20. I'm assuming that's a very expensive car? I don't know anything about G20s or Infinities or cars in general. So for, all I know, this could be the equivalent of a Gremlin, which I only know about because of memes. Interesting that this would be posted so far back, though. Past the missing property sign. What is this shit? It would seem we're expected. Is that them? Oh. It's all the missing people. This isn't missing posters. This is trophies, isn't it? Oh, that's crazy. 
creepy and the music swelling is making it even creepier. That is bright and giving off... What? A bonfire? What was that? That was, there was words in there. I'm gonna have to jack this up. I heard deceived us. I'm gonna put on closed captions. Oh yeah, Ethan on the intercom. Oh, I'm probably gonna need this, aren't I? Your senses deceive, and it is prudent never to trust wholly those who deceived us even once. Whoa. Are we going with a cognito issue? I just... Dude! It almost feels like this is a spoiler I'm not entirely supposed to read yet. Oh. It's so creepy and they're just walking past it. Multi-arms with people hanging from it? Everyone else is just ignoring it. In fact, they're all ignoring it very heavily. You think that'd be the kind of thing they want to investigate? Wait, wait, wait. Go back a second. What was on the camera screen? Okay, yeah, you can see it just... It looks so distant. I was like, wait, is that thing not in there? That'd be a very specific edit. It looks so different on here, though. Really cool how you see that little comparison. Also, really good camera screen that you can actually see it. For a second, though, I thought you'd only see him and not the burning mass. I guess just burning effigies are pretty tame for SCP stuff. Oh, there's some guy looking at it. However, briefly. Oh. And the top triangle was the symbol of the cult. Well, I guess that would be a calling card. Even as much as the trophy trees. What? Why are they all kneeling? What are they looking? Oh. Jesus. Yeah. This is Sector 1 1. We've passed Poe. We've got eyes on multiple humanoid anomalies floating above the trees at the north side of the property. Please. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be getting giddy just overhearing the word anomaly. But I'm getting giddy overhearing the word anomaly. It's like, oh my god, human anomalies! The people floating in. I'm just thinking of the one SCP where it was like this alternate reality they walked into off a dirt road and people just kind of floated before getting stuck. It's just crazy shit happening. It was like all in your head until it wasn't and it ate you. And just, I know I'm describing a bunch of SCPs. I don't even remember which one it was off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, just, this is creepy as hell and the music is terrifying. I, I, I'm happy and giddy about this. I'm, I'm honestly getting a little nervous about this because I'm happy. That's weird. Not me being happy, but getting giddy over serious shit. Unless they start eating you. Understood. One more now. We good to go? Affirmative. Get your men in position. Fuck you. Step two, we'll go ahead for intercourse. Weapons free. Hmm. Also, I earlier I pointed out how I thought I'm going with Ethan was the guy on the chatter. And I, I don't know what he was listening to, but that moment we're just like okay he has a little more color in his shirt but then you see one one and his is also the more it's still gray and but the fact that it's patterned makes him stand out slightly more than everyone else even on top of that it's not much so he's not standing out as much as what i'm guessing is the main character but he's, you definitely tell he's noticeable lights flashing on top of the heads is that just a thing they do to keep track from sky or so how do they record this? Do they actually have a drone following them while they acted? Where is that broadcast coming from? He's hearing. Is he just talking? What? 
Honestly, I'd put the subtitles back on, but I think that might actually be a spoiler at this point. Or is that what they're hearing out loud? It's open. I heard gunshot, what happened? And the voice okay, cut as room. soon as he did that. Small room left. Coming out. Ooh. Clear. With you. Clear. Coming out. Coming out. Clearing the house really efficiently. Or efficiently, that's the word. Clear. I'm surprised no one's looking Call up yet. I guess that would just take longer in the shot. And they're trying to move. Oh nope, they're looking up here. Uh I got one. Yeah. Put your fucking hands in the air or you will be It's not a living hand. person, is it? Let me see your fucking hand. Do Don't. it. Do it now. Do it right fucking now. Don't you oh, fucking still alive? do it. That seemed like a sacrifice. Got a down on the second floor. Proceeding to ID. Over. Oh, fuck, man. Just like, I, I thought there'd just be a skeleton or a corpse there at first, but no, it moved and... Dude, it's doing the creep factor so well, especially with the everything being covered in plastic except for the door and the beds. Oh, it's keeping the splatter off. Makes it so much worse. I'd almost be afraid to touch that gun at this point. It's Pender. Should be calling a Casavac. I'm not Bashan, but those were kill shots, bro. Best thing for him's a bag. Fuck. One more to Haliar's kingpin is dead. Over. The hell was he up to? Looks Someone like put a, a bag on his head. Ritual, I guess. Be nice if you didn't pull that fucking gun. Yeah, it's like he was waiting for you. And he wasn't going to kill himself because he had the gun the entire time. He was waiting. And he gave you a reason to complete a ritual, didn't he? Got a couple questions to ask. Yeah. How many guys he's got in the basement? Push comes to shove, I can cut a hole in the floor, flush him out with gas, cross that bridge when we get there. What do you see? TL. USB drive? Oh! Go check out Pender's office. Take Kalinsky with you. Shot this guy. He still won't shoot. The broadcast is back. Wait, what'd he say? Take Kalinsky with you. Shot this guy. He still won't shut the fuck up. So it's everyone hearing him, not just us. Okay. Oh, they already got him in a bag. Guess they had it on him. Where's it being broadcast from? Just on their radio channels, or? Some of the numbers are fitted on the lock, so we can probably brute force it. Let me have a look. Oh, joy! They're going to the basement. Nothing's bad in the basement ever. Oh, it's an actual safe. Can you blow it? Uh, no. We need something heavy. I don't want to risk damaging anything inside. Is it open? We need a cutting torch for this one. That or, you know, find the code. <sighs> Helios, this is Sector 1-1. One, one. Basement is reinforced. Unable to secure it at this time. Over. Also, one little thing I just find funny. I think it was right around code. here. Ah, here we go. No. Yeah, I know it's a little mistake on their part, but there's just that little moment where he's coming down. And it moves on him. Yeah. It's a tiny little thing. And I think that was more of a mistake. Because they didn't bring any attention to it. Is what I would say. But everything else here has been incredibly tight on attention. I'm going to say this is probably just an, a mistake they made. And just left it in. Because it's really not a big deal. But it'd be kind of cool if that actually came out to be important. Just that tiny little movement. Helios, this is Sector 1-1. 
basement is reinforced. Oops. Unable to secure it at this time. Over. And he did just give them a reason not to go in there. To the giant uh, flashing this is important button. They didn't check the closet to start with. And a random laptop that's still on. That's better. Oh no. Looks like he was still writing. Yeah, what's he writing? The bridge over the horizon. Records on the last days of the new transcendentalist commune. What the fuck? Last days? That? Which part? The title's a novel worth of text. The part about him knowing this group was coming to an end. Intel never said they were a doomsday cult. Yeah. Well, you're the field analyst. Figure it out. I'm just here to type. Field analyst, that's I'm the word. Command. You know, I should have figured something was up. Yeah? Why? Well, he pulled a weapon on us. Yeah, we Did kind he? of broke into his house, Kolinsky. He could have figured us for cops. If we're going off his publicly available doctrine, there's no reason why he'd want to martyr himself. If he went to prison, he'd still be able to preach his ideology. That's what counts, right? I don't know, bro. I just type. <sighs> this is... There is a history, such as Jim Jones, of people doing this to their followers without the SCP floating body aspects, and that's if the bodies are even there and it's real, because sometimes, who knows, maybe it's not. The medics, man. But... I like how he's trying to discover what's going on, and this guy is very much like, eh, I'm just here to do my job. Which is weird for an MTF, but at the same time, also kind of necessary, because anyone who thinks too hard usually needs the amnestics more than not. Maybe they changed it at the last minute. Try Panda's birthday. Would that actually work? I don't know. Try one, two, three, four. Please let that no. work. Please let that work. Any progress? Negative. Help Please let one, two, three, four work. Cicero did. Nice. Would have been nicer if you didn't, you know. So he could have told us the code. Just keep typing. He probably Let's wasn't gonna let you. All the numbers you try. If one else goes to shit, we can call in a cut and torch. Yeah. Or go through the ceiling. Might want to get people out of the house before you open it, though. Play me. Hey, Kulansky. And that very much confirms everything I said. That was a setup. He was very much offing himself. And between that and the book saying the last days, oh, yeah, he knew exactly what he was getting into. From the flash trap, I found also, wait, 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 wait. Is that a chipmunk? I think the picture is a chipmunk with a bit of fluff. Neat. Kulinski, come here. From the flash drive I found in his room. Scepter 16 to Helios, we've got a flash drive in here with a video file titled Play Me. Proceeding to open it, over. Roger 16, over. What are they going to see? If you are listening to this, I have either made the journey into our Lord's domicile. They should really not open that thing in the basement. Oh, no. Also, why do you leave a camcorder? There's another video, isn't there? Oh, this is, um... Sorry, I'm actually getting giddy off this. Yeah. Judas story. Dude. Interesting how beforehand when they called in and they were watching something, they said, hey, command, we're doing this. Because again, MTF going into somewhere like, hey, eh, medmatics are an issue. Maybe they're seeing something that might uh, brain melt them. They should probably talk in. 
But this guy is just going all in. Granted, he's the field ass, so I guess maybe he's just used to doing his own thing. Blinds? No. The bags. Lock set. Jensen. That's not visible, but you can see it in the camera. What you got? I just want to make sure I'm not the only one seeing this. Smart move. The fuck? When did they all get there? I guess they just jump forward in time. Looks like there's some sort of invisible ink. Is it just infrared that's picking it up? Negative. Jensen tried it with his nods to no effect. It's the camera, not infrared. Maybe that's, oh, dude, that's creepy. Or part of it. Or a trick. They're gonna see something in his uh, death chamber, aren't they? Helios, this is Septal 11. Requesting to use the camera to investigate the property. Mm-hmm. Helios, Septal 11, stand by. Over. Oh? Septal 11, you may use the camera at your own bullet. Oh, they get back really fast. Understood. One one out. Good find, Kalinsky. Take it and report your findings to the talk. Jansen, give command control of the computer, then go with Kalinsky. Is there going to be another body floating up above him? Because it seems like... North? What? Why is it getting creepy? Hate that drawdown music, you. <sighs> okay, that is an absolutely disturbing picture they brought in. Considering all of the creepy aspects are just all the people floating, and I realize this is just people standing on or sitting on the fence. But because of the imagery they're using about the shadowy people floating up above. Mostly shadow because you're seeing light from behind them, so they're not in the greatest detail. And then this is kind of what they have here. It's like, yeah, yeah, this is definitely something they made sure to leave this picture in this part of the frame in good detail because it just kind of fits. Who hangs up a fishing pole? Is that a thing people do? Weird. Oh, there's more. Yep. Probably more outside, too. Yep. Yeah, this is all very exciting, Kowinski. Why do I have a feeling that guy's not going to be seen again? God, the music is like this warbling creepiness. Just wait until you get into the murder room. We all know what's going to happen there. They saw something. What was that? The music cut out. And now it's starting again. Because something was visible in there. Claire? Is it? Koinsky, what the fuck? I saw someone in here. It must have given us the slip. Scepter 2, this is 1-6. Watch your sectors for a humanoid target moving away from the building. Over. Roger, 1-6. Over. 2 on the Helios. Any movement on ISR? Over. Negative They're still in the room, aren't they? Pull up the camera, man. They gave us the slip. Scepter 2 would have caught him the second they jumped. Fuck! Oh. Oh. I got it! Oh. Fuck! One more. Oh. Rashard, get up here! I'll swap with you. Over! Yeah, no, it's still there! And it goes for the neck. Move your arms! I can't see the wall! This 
Choking sounds are making worse. Get the fuck in here, Kalinski! Why are they going to that room? Bathroom. Who's about to fall over? Fuck! Something's out there. Something's about to grab this guy too, huh? Scepter one, this is two one. I'm gonna reposition scepter two. The inner cordon is compromised. Over. Understood, 2-1. Over. Scepter 2 to all Scepter 1 units. Do not exit the target building. Over. The whole... Over. He even said it wasn't actually like they just reach out and grab you. And of course that was the foreshadowing. They told you exactly what the hole was going to do. Ugh. <sighs> What happened? I don't know. He was just standing there, and then he was bleeding all over the fucking floor, man. Clementine. Fuck. Scepter 1-3 to Helios. 1-1 one, one is KIA. Over. Roger, 1-3. Over. I was not expecting him to die so fast. Why is it turning slowly? Bring the camera up. Oh, this is all kinds of fuck no. It's gonna be right there, isn't it? Guy with a knife in a bag over his head. He can still take damage. Is he down? It's on the floor and it's not moving. Okay, I need to see that again. What the hell? That that is very cool as an effect. Ah, oh, dude, you can see things coming out like the moving effect. It's so unhuman. And is it's the people with the bags over the head. Is it the previous one when they were all the three people in the circle? Or is this the guy they just executed? I don't think he had a knife. Oh, dude, you can see things like tentacles writhing out of there. Oh, that's such a cool effect. You can barely even see it. Dude. <laughs> One, two to all stations. Target down on second floor. Over. Oh. He died here. Is he gonna come back? I don't envy you. Big shoes to fill. I can do my job. Yeah. So can he. If there's another option besides that, you let me know. Looks like the cultists got whatever it was they wanted. This complicates things. So what the fuck's the move now? Well... We know the reverse to bullets, so that gives us some options. Chemicals, maybe. You know, anywhere else saying, I found their weakness. We could shoot them. That would be a joke. In SCP, that's actually like, oh, this is actually something we could solve by shooting. Not usually a thing. So it's kind of like, oh, still human level of horror. It's just a monster that's going to try and kill us as opposed to something that it could easily wipe out the planet and it's just not because we're telling it a bedtime story which may or may not be what's going on with the deer there's multiple takes on that it's all creepy not saying it's for sure gonna work but it's worth a try keep okay. that camera up qrf and some chemical mortars nothing lethal just enough to knock out anything in the vicinity good because i want to take off this property we yes still have a job to do we find out why it's this thing QRF that can see it what they're getting into there's also been a change in the roe if we make contact We'll attempt a less Are we? Option oh, first. ring of if they don't respond excess? to that, energize? I don't know. Smoke Better not drop that fucking camera, Kalinski. Or run out of power. One, two, five, four, effect. Red five, over. 
They are able to detect out. movement, though. Just waiting for something. Because they're putting down the gas, yeah. Now, this is a definitely an effect they put on top of it rather than actual physical, practical effects. Will the things moving be visible in the smoke, displacing it? They're invisible and not entirely human, that's for sure. Was that hitting or a gunshot? Glitchkin, get up here! One of them's running. There's another one. Gas. Oh, they make it appear in the gas. Whoa. Is it down? There is the one guy who's stuck in the basement though. Is he possibly still alive? Is he chicken out? And or became smart. This is gonna take a bit. Step aside. Look at me and tell me I am not the most valuable member of this team. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually one, two, three, four. He was even joking about it. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm sorry. This is such a really dark and gritty show right now. And like the bodies and the creepy aspects and the just the what the hell going on. And suddenly, yeah, I'm the most valuable member. I got the password. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that bit of humor. That, that was... Oh, that was such a release of tension. I'm actually, uh, I'm now de-hyped so I can be re-hyped, which makes it an even bigger emotional whiplash because I'm certain something's about to grab this guy and it's going to be horrible and gruesome, which is weird because they've only done the gruesome once just to give you that shock value and they haven't overdone it since then. Keeping the monsters very mysterious still. Duh. Loud sounds and suddenly dark. Oh, they had the night fishing goggles down. It does make them look a lot creepier. That they're, they're closing the door behind them. They're not propping it open. Well, I guess they think they have the advantage. Did he see the screen of that? Would that even work on night vision? That was the guy in the basement, and he's Get dead too. Get the door. On it. Man's probably been dead a couple hours. Oh. Took himself out with these. Check around the place for anything notable. I'm gonna let this guy over. Cool sticks. This is the clubhouse that they had in here. Why is it so heavily contained? Cell phone? He has the bag next to his head, not on it. Everyone else is like a bag breather. Got a recording here. Play it back. Oh, it was that painting! Trying to hide it away. I don't know what Father Bender thought he was worshipping, but it was never the salvation we were promised. They weren't praying to a god, they were praying to a monster. And they fed it. Friends are gonna make any sense out of this. Phew. This is all fucking gibberish to me, man. 
Anyone else getting flashbacks to the Providence op? Bass Providence? relief, weird cold, same shit, right? Oh. Maybe both groups found the same thing. Nothing's here like what the cult says publicly. It's like they did a complete 180, like completely changed ideologies. Yeah. Something, again, memetics, man. They're a bitch. I, I don't even, this is... Oh. Sorry, I'm actually really freaked out right now. You know, I, I worried about just, uh, I worried about doing allergy meds and Maxor. Now I'm thinking allergy meds and Overlord SCP is, um, that's one hell of a trip, man. Honestly, it just makes me really tired. So if I was doing Maxor, I'd be like, I don't have this. Well, I'm dead. Here, I'm just going, okay, now I'm awake. I can feel the adrenaline running. Yep. Fuck it. Try anything once, right? Just waiting for something to move in the background. Like that! What does he see? Here. It's on the screen. Son, you got anything? What do you see? in the mirror he's shaking Hassan what the fuck is wrong with you hey put that fucking thing down man what are you seeing? what's going on shoot it nobody put it down oh fuck one two to Helios sector one four is down over Kalinsky get the camera Jesus Christ Hassan One two to Helios. Target building is compromised. That's a contagion Supply hazard, all right. Helios sector one, QRF is thirty seconds out. Retrieve what intel you can. Exfil from. Okay, uh, nothing to say here. I just um, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I got like goosebumps everywhere. Actually, I could probably just do this. I got goosebumps, man, and I'm actually going down a bit. I just ooh, also yeah, I got a camera that can do that. I'm very pale. I realize. I just need a second. I got like a cold sweat going on and just fuck. The monsters are scary, but whatever that was was worse. You see the MTF running, things get worse. What did they say on the screen, anyways? Okay, it's, yeah, they're X vacking or E vacking. Exfiltrating? Take your pick. There's only the four of them. Are Is the entire perimeter guard gone? Nope. Sorry we couldn't get here earlier. Containment brought up the specialist. Some of their tech might spot the target, might not. You still got the camera on you? Who's about to be missing? Yeah. You want it? That's affirmative. Pass it off and we can take it from here. Roger. What is going on? Were his goggles always completely opaque? He's like, you can barely see through these, but you can always see through the goggles. These... Oh, no. Roger. Kalinsky, bring up the camera. Kalinsky? Kalinsky, what is it? Tentacles. You You son of a bitch! You get to this point and you just said Okay, we see them exfiltrating here in the background. It's actually being shown through here still. You see the 
them leaving. No, this is from earlier on when they're coming in. This is going to be like an extended episode. There has to be more than just the ending of- Oh yeah, no. The monster's in charge. God damn. Overlord, because you could actually see their overlord was the Cthulhu S monster. They're not floating, they're being held up as trophies. Which is why the trophy trees was accurate. Dude. I. That was. <laughs> that was a trip. That was an absolutely batshit terrifying trip, and I don't know what's going on. And I want more. It's like, is there an extended part? Is there more? Is this where they come back in? I just yeah. And that reveal at the end that it was reaching out to them. I, and then there was the, you don't even there is so much that remains mysterious about this. And even though you finally get at the end the initial mystery, the one that was the first revealed is the first solved. And even that doesn't tell you anything. Because why are they floating? Their answer, they're not. They're being held up. And it's by those the giant hole. Because they were literally the monster underground that was reaching out and grabbing them and just holding up its grisly trophies. And it had some mind control power because it made the one guy shoot itself. It had that contagion. It could do things that turned the people who were sacrificed into those tentacle face breathers and... If that actually corresponds to an actual SCP, let me know because I kind of need more. I, I just, I, I need more, but it's terrifying as hell, man. <sighs> Maybe watching that late at night when I'm conked out on allergy meds was the wrong choice, but I did it and I still think it's safer than watching Maxwell, which would literally probably kill me with an aneurysm. But dear God, I saw that there's other SCP videos that this entire channel that Evan wrote, he did. It, should I watch them? Or would that be the kind of thing that would, um, how to put it, unmake me due to sheer terror? Because even this part right here, for anyone who's good at horror, this is weak stuff. I'm not good at horror. This is terrifying to me. I love the mystery. I love how it's building and even the little bit of humor they threw in there just to break the tension so you have that sudden release before you go into an even more crazy situation. And just... <sighs> My only complaint is it's too short. I need more. I want to know more. But that's, I guess, the difference between a short film and a full feature-length film. Is it? I don't know. I'm not a uh, filmographer. Cinematographer, that's the word. But I, I just... I, I need more. I need to find out what the hell's going on. I need just more idea what's going on. It just... Uh, if anyone knows, tell me, please. I'm not above begging on this one. And if you do, thanks. But more importantly... Uh, I'm gonna go get some tea. I'm gonna go hug my wife. And then I'm going to make sure every house light is on. And I'm just going to go rock myself because I don't want to think of monsters breathing tentacles invisibly and just with knives and... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know it's going to be on my nightmares tonight. Yep. So yeah, for everyone watching, thanks. I'm going to go do something cute like puppies and kitties and not this. Yeah, see you guys then. Oh, again, links below, original video, hit it up. If you've already seen it, you know it's good. Rewatch it, there's probably a lot of things even I missed, which isn't hard because it's me. But let me know then. Otherwise, see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys then. Adios.